where Zoram People's Movement Chief Lal Duoma was sworn in as Chief Minister today. Governor Hari Babu Kambad Party administered the oath of office and secrecy to Mr. Lal Duoma at the Raj Bhavan complex today in the presence of former Chief Ministers Zoram Thanga and Lal Thanhaula. All eyes are set now on Lal Duoma, a former IPS officer, as he prepares to deliver the change and an anti-corruption plank that he's promised. It is quite a remarkable journey of Lal Duoma from being a former IPS officer to now the Chief Minister of Mizoram. Take a look at his journey. Lal Duhoma has been part of Mizoram's political map since the mid-1980s. It was a long winding road for him to the top job in Mizoram. A former IPS officer who resigned from service after his glorious crackdown on the Goa drug racket at the behest of the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and became catalyst peacemaker between Indian government and Mizo National Front insurgency led by Lal Denga. He joined Congress and became an MP in 1984. But after Indira Gandhi's assassination, he was unhappy with the progress of peace talks and left Congress. I used to be there with the then Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, day in and day out for a couple of years. And we are very close to each other. And uh, she requested me to, res to resign and help her in negotiating with the rebel leader, Mr. Laldenga. And that is the way I joined the politics. <laughs> in 1988, Lal Duhoma ended up becoming the first MP to be disqualified under the anti-defection law after he resigned from the Congress. But that wasn't the last time. In the last state assembly election in 2018, Lal Duhoma's current political party, Zoram People's Movement, was still not recognized and he fought as an independent candidate. A year later, when ZPM was officially recognized, they had eight MLAs and Lal Duhoma became the opposition leader. He was disqualified as an MLA on anti-defection law and in 2021, he came back to Mizo Assembly after winning in the by-election. Now he is poised to become the Chief Minister of Mizoram. After that, uh, we'll have a meeting with our Elders' Council. We are going to form a ministry with them. It's not me alone who can, you know, form a government. According to our constitution, it has to be decided by the Chief Minister, along with the advice of the members of the VUC. The movement started by Lal Duhoma's ZPM is being compared with the Ahmadmi Party. This time, there are people from different walks of life who have emerged winners in the electoral battle. Most of them are young, vibrant faces waiting to change and develop their state. Under the leadership of 74-year-old Lal Duhoma.